Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy, support good content at all times. All social media is in the description box, and please hit that bell icon so you'll be notified when I drop that heat. The newly crowned WBC welterweight champion of the world, Showtime Sean Porter. Congratulations to him. Got a unanimous decision victory over the hometown boy, Danny Garcia. It was a really good fight. Live, I didn't catch it until the fourth round, but I went back, watched the replay of the fight. Um, I did have it 7-5, Sean Porter. Um, I don't see a scenario where Danny Garcia won the fight on the cards. Uh, I would accept either 6-6, six, six, a draw, or 7-5, Porter. I think 8-4, Porter is ridiculous, and I thought that 7-5, Danny, I, I didn't see that. So, um, it's amazing how in boxing, like, one round could change your perception on a lot of things. But boxing is exactly that. You know, a 7-5 scorecard looks close, but an 8-4 scorecard, which is one round, makes it look like a blowout. But Sean Porter got the victory. Um, he did a really, really good job in that fight. Showed a lot of different wrinkles. But now we got to look forward. Earl Spence hopped in the ring, called out Sean Porter. Sean Porter said that that would be the easiest fight that he's ever made in his life. And Sean Porter, like I said before, Sean Porter doesn't seem like the type of guy to duck anybody. But just seemed like his father really didn't want Sean to be in there. But the question is, should we as fans accept one title defense from Sean Porter before he goes into a unification fight. Now, I know as boxing fans, we can be selfish. As boxing fans, we want what we want when we want it. And we're a paying consumer, and there's nothing wrong with that. But let's stack this up with um, just champions, period. Just past and present. Nobody that I remember has won a title and immediately has gone into a demand of a unification. Like, no mandatory, no voluntary, no nothing. Like, they just want the mandatory, I'm sorry, not the mandatory, but the unification right then and there on the spot. We have... If we've seen that in boxing history, it's been very few times. So we're asking that of Sean Porter. That's number one. Number two, Sean Porter is a two-time welterweight champion of the world. And for Sean Porter's entire career, he has not had one successful title defense. When he won the title against, I think it was Paulie Malignaggi when he won his first world title. He immediately went into a mandatory fight against Kell Brook. Now, Kell Brook is not your average mandatory fight, but that's what he was up against. And Sean Porter was favored in that fight. And he lost that fight, so that fight of course, to Kell Brook. Now, me personally, do I want to see him go up against... Earl Spence next. The selfishness of the boxing fan, yes. Uh, the realist that I am, I know it's not going to happen. Number one, the WBC as an organization is in the business of making money. They they are quote-unquote nonprofit, but they are in the business of making money at the end of the day. 
which means mandatories, which means sanctioning fees. Sanctioning fees means money in the WBC's pocket. You understand what I'm saying? They would sanction a fight with grade school kids in the, in the schoolyard if they knew they can get a sanctioning fee out of it. That's just how the WBC gets down. So report came out that the WBC was going to force the new WBC champion into two mandatories. Two mandatories. But that's what Keith Thurman was faced with before he let go of the title, which I thought was a smart move on Keith Thurman's part. So Sean Porter, if he follows the WBC guidelines, he's going to be able to fight two mandatories before he has to step into any type of unification. And the pressure on Sean Porter is not as bad as it was with Keith Thurman. It's not nearly as bad. So Sean is going to be able to get away with it at the end of the day. He's going to hear the fans talking. But the fight that he put up against Danny Garcia, he gave himself a little more leeway um, than we did prior to the Danny Garcia fight. I just, I think in a way, I think it's kind of bad to have him go into an Earl Spence unification fight right after a Danny Garcia fight. But at the same time, at the same time, Keith Thurman fought Danny, uh, Sean Porter and Danny Garcia back-to-back. -back. But see, that's that's the thing. That wasn't Keith Thurman's first title defense. Like, we would be asking Sean Porter to have won the title from Danny Garcia and his first title defense be a unification. That's damn near unheard of in boxing. I don't expect to see it happen. I think it's boxing fans. I think Sean Porter has done enough in his career and he's had his career defining victory against Danny Garcia. Um, and it couldn't happen to a better guy. You know, I give out criticism where it's due. I give criticism out where I see it's fit. And I've criticized Sean Porter and his father before, you know, but I am huge fans of Sean Porter and his father at the end of the day, not only because they show a lot of class, but at the same time, that father-son combination and they've never gone away from each other and they've been successful doing what they've been doing I think is a beautiful thing to see period just just a beautiful thing to see so I'm hoping for all the success in the world when it comes down to Sean Porter and his father Kenny Porter but don't expect the Earl Spence unification next it's probably going to be two mandatories and then it's going to be Earl Spence unification. It's going to be this. The timetable and the schedule is no different with Sean Porter than it would have been if Keith Thurman still had the belts. He'd have been looking for a tune up, two tune ups, and then he'd have got the Earl Spence. It's the same thing with Sean Porter. So y'all shouldn't be surprised, shouldn't be upset. This is what we call the politics of boxing. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comment section. G5Jeff TV, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. Please share this video, support your boy. Support good content at all times. I appreciate y'all. Peace.